afternoon guys and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Guys, today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different video because I have been dying to do some more modifications to the 2017 Jeep Wrangler Winter Edition. And honestly guys, most of the modifications that we perform right here on Bubba's Garage are things that we're preparing for the future. And in this particular case, we are preparing for a overland trip in about 10 months thousands of miles and i you know one of the biggest problems that i have with the jeep wrangler is the fact that storage is kind of limited and we got to change that up a little bit and this trip is completely overland so everything that we're going to be doing 99 percent of the time is all camping okay now with that said about 20 percent of that time could be boondocking so we need to be able to get a camper. I know that sounds terrible. That's not maybe what you think as typical overlanding. Most of the time that is in a tent or, or something like that. Um, that's sometimes we will have to boondock, uh, whether that's a Walmart, a pullover, a rest stop, what have you. So we gotta be able to get a camper that is, is nothing more than a sleeper. Now, we're not talking about bathrooms and all this kind of stuff. We're actually talking about a sleeper. We're looking at something in the lines of about 2,000 pounds with about a 200 pound tongue weight. So the Jeep suspension's gotta be able to handle that. Honestly, guys, I, I've been looking at an AEV overland suspension system, like a two and a half inch suspension system. Um, it seems like their, their springs are, are rated for heavy loads, keep in mind, not only will we be towing a, a camper, but we'll have all of our gear, including Odie, in the back of the, uh, of the the Jeep here. So we have all of that, but in addition, we're also gonna have to be able to carry extra fuel. You guys have heard of the Enchanted Rockies. We're gonna head up that area. Some of that in that area gets a little desolate. You're gonna need extra fuel. So. I've been looking at the AEV two and a half inch suspension list because of the heavy duty springs. I hear Old Man Emu also has a pretty good one. Um, not really sure exactly which one is going to be best for that. I heard Metal Cloak's got one. If you guys have any of those lift kits, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on that, especially in an overland or carrying a lot of gear aspect. Um, not really rock crawling. If you notice right here on Bubba's Garage, we, we don't do a lot of those things. So. Um, I'd love to hear your comments on some of those lift kits. Now, as far as roto packs are concerned, carrying extra fuel, right here on Bubbles Garage, we actually carry two, three gallons, so it'd be six total roto packs. Now, currently in my setup right now, I'm carrying one three gallon roto pack in a storage box here. This is a two gallon storage box. If you've seen our playlist there, I'll link it in the eye in the sky. We've done a lot of videos on carrying roto packs on the back of your Jeep Wrangler. And honestly, guys, there's not a, there's really not a lot of great solutions out there. There are some tire carriers that you can get. AEV makes one of them, um, where you can carry 10 gallons of gas uh, on your on a tire carrier, which is actually pretty nice. But here in Bubba's Garage, we also do other things, and that 10 gallons is not removable. I love the Rotopack concept because I can take them off and use them on lawnmowers, use them on the ATVs and things like that, and put them back on, so I circle them out. So there could be a tire carrier in the near future. I'm not really sure. I'd love to hear some comments from you guys about tire carriers and carrying Rotopacks on those tire carriers. A lot of the, the tire carriers that I've looked at they don't allow you to carry anything larger than two gallon roto packs. So um, your comments would definitely be appreciated on that. I've seen uh, some by Smitty Built, um, some by Ace Engineering, but all of those look like they're limited to two gallon roto packs. I'd really like to carry at least two, three gallon roto packs. But with that said, storage is a problem. Um, when you're boondocking, a lot of times, People go camping in their camper, they throw their gear in their camper, they get out to their destination and they set up camp. We're not gonna be able to do that because in some particular instances, we might actually have to boondock it, which means we can't have the sleeper, the sleeper full of gear. Uh, we just can't do it. It has to be ready for us to be able to crawl inside of and go to sleep. So I thought about the possibility of getting a Gobi rack on top. Now the Gobi rack solves a multitude of different problems. With a Gobi rack, I could put the fuel on top of the Gobi rack, 
we can carry our tents and our chairs and things like that on the Gobi rack as well. So that is a possible solution. Now with uh, a, the, the sleeper, we could also store some of those things on top of that. So I'd really like to know if you guys have installed a Gobi rack and it's one of the best things you've ever did or one of the worst things you've ever did. Love to hear your comments on that. One of the things about a Gobi rack is, is if we're gonna execute, we gotta execute really soon. We gotta get on it right away because it takes a good four to six months to get those things built and delivered. So it's something we gotta execute on really, really soon. Like I said, guys, I mean, this trip is happening in less than 10 months. We gotta prepare now. Well, honestly, guys, I, I'm not rich. It, it's very expensive. So we gotta start preparing and getting things lined out now. We're gonna talk more in a future episode about the uh, campers. I've done months and months and months of research on sleepers to figure out what is gonna be the best option for us. And as you know, Jeeps have a limited towing capacity. This is rated at 3,500 pounds towing and a 350 pound tongue weight. So you can see how the suspension, the storage and things like that can be important. And I know some of you guys out there have done all those things in your Jeep Wrangler. And I'd love to hear what your comments are, your pros, your cons and things like that. So definitely leave me some comments down below. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Just wanted to touch base with you. We got a couple of projects coming up really soon right here on Bubba's Garage. And well, honestly, one of these needs to happen fairly soon. So definitely leave those comments. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, leave me a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video and you wanna stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody.